Well, anyway, tell me about Gorka. Why, 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 what do you do? Why, are you a dreamer? Why are you dream or all of that kind of stuff? Tell me a bit about Gorka. And, oh yeah, you could also tell me your lore as well if you want to do that. Uh, <laughs> God, I don't know. I, I gotta be honest. My lore, even the con like condensed version, my lore is ridiculously long. Um, we I got, could share a link We to got the... an hour. I think you're fine if you want to talk about it. You want? I, I do warn you, the actually the actual lore portion is about uh, two pages, and then I also have my weight, height, age, all that stuff down. So, are you sure? <laughs> it's it's a bit long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it, do it, you won't. <laughs> do it, okay. you won't. So, a very long time ago, on a distant planet from here, uh, very much not Earth, it's a planet called Inaria. Uh, it used to be called uh, K22NE, but uh, that's where I was born. Um, a very, very, very long time ago, uh, Kitsune had been seen as cursed due to the fact that she had... Uh, the innate ability to be able to not only speed read, but also store memories photographically. And she was able to learn inf uh, information at an incredible rate, and also and also uh, sort of like uh, not lose it. Uh, so she had to make an android body for herself, because if she didn't, it would get to the point where she has so much information stored up that she would die. Um, eventually, wait, after making wait. this... Hmm? They had to make an android body because if they had too much information, they would die. Yeah, it was getting to the point where, uh, it would have, like, sort of overloaded her brain. Uh, so she made a, uh, android body for herself around the age of 18-ish because if she hadn't around the age of 20, she would have had, like, 20 years worth of information all sort of stored up and, uh would have been bad like she wouldn't have been 100 percent dead but at that point you're kind of a vegetable because you aren't able to like sort of like obtain any more information you know like it gets to the point where you can only have so much so she wanted to be able to make it so she can obtain more information and be able to store it uh and with a uh android body she could always just like make it so she has more and more storage room, you know? So, she made an android body for herself, and, uh... She decided to sort of travel around the world and expand her knowledge more, and after her travels, she made a sort of cottage and wanted to, uh, create her own knowledge. So she ended up sort of, like, experimenting in, uh, advanced technologies and various different things like that, and ended up basically single-handedly uh, getting the planet, uh, K22NE into, uh, up, up until the point where they had, uh, FTL travel, which is faster than light travel, and, uh, had How basically gotten... How can be faster than light? It, it is possible, uh, the way that it's faster than light is via wormholes. Uh, using wormhole technology, you're basically just able to, uh, puncture a hole through space-time, and then, like, just kind of like climb through and then you're on the other side. So basically if you want to go from like here, uh, Earth, to uh, Inaria, you'd basically just make a wormhole, go through the wormhole, and then you're there because another wormhole was made at that destination. No more you uh, know, like, oh, I don't know anything about space. Oh, yeah, I, okay, I'm a space VTuber, but I don't know anything about traveling and wormholes and stuff, wow. Wow, I am family as a face VTuber. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Go tell me, like, go on, what, what are you gonna say? Basically, she had gotten the, uh, planet to the point where it was a, uh, what's, what's referred to as a, uh, a Type 3 civilization. Basically, what a Type 3 civilization is, is, uh, they were able to, uh, make a Dyson Sphere around their star, basically making it so they can sort of, like, harness the power of their sun. So they're able to, uh, sort of, like, power all their technology via the Dyson Sphere. Um, 
they're able to travel around the galaxy super easy due to the wormhole technology. Uh, and basically, if you were to go to their planet, you know, like games like Mass Effect and stuff where there's like giant, like, you know, very uh, technologically yeah. advanced cities. Yeah. It's basically like that. Um, and that's the story of my mother. Uh, oh. She goes by the name Inari. And she has been going by the name Inari. And the re and that's the reason why the planet's called Inaria, because she single-handedly got them to the point where they're so advanced that they basically saw her as a goddess. So they called her Inari. Yeah, what was the planet they called beforehand? The planet beforehand was a K22NE. They didn't really have oh, like a okay, real okay, sort okay. of like, you know, they didn't have like a yeah. real sort of 100% everyone yeah. agrees on this name. Like we all agree on Earth is Earth. Um, but yeah, then eventually she made my, uh, eldest sister, uh, Keiko, but Keiko, due to the fact that Inari was basically being seen as a goddess, Keiko was treated like a goddess as well, treated like a princess, so she kind of became, uh, kind of, like, spoiled and a bit cruel, because she basically just saw everyone as people that are there to serve her, you know, so, she was a bit of a dick, uh, it eventually led to... Keiko trying to lead a coup against our mom uh, because she wanted to be the leader and Inari basically just like ended that shit real quick and then like sent her to another uh, like the uh, neighboring star system and kind of just plopped her on a planet and she was just like she was just like <laughs> stay here you're in timeout stay then, here uh, yeah. you're in a timeout you're in a big global you cannot go out anywhere you must stay here totally yeah. Totally a big robot. How could you do this to me? It was messed up. I I don't know why someone would try to kill their mom, but she did. She tried. Um, she failed really badly. Um, and then after a couple several hundred years, uh, Inari made me. So Lyra's only my uh idol name. My actual sort of name uh is uh Akame Fukuhara. Um, and I grew up and she had kind of like decided to sort of like specifically make me with uh, empathy and morals because she didn't want me to be like Keiko, but everyone started treating me like a princess and stuff, like they were treating Keiko. So she basically sent me off onto a, uh, a star cruise. What a star cruise is is it travels incredibly fast, but it doesn't really... It has wormhole technology, but it doesn't really use it. It just travels incredibly fast so that it can... Kind of be like a cruise here on Earth, but through the stars. Yeah. And uh, I was learning how to uh, sing and entertain and stuff on there. So that's how you got here. Yep. So then I got here because uh, one of the destinations for the cruise is here uh the cruise is a very uh it's it's a very long running cruise um due to the fact that it's been coming here for a really really long time uh, back the lore back the whole lore now you got to earth and you're just like mm -hmm. you're just like now i'm here and i'm gonna be an go. there are a couple steps in between but i'm gonna be wait making like a web comic at some point that kind of covers those Ooh, a web comment? I wish I could make web comment. I just don't know how to do that. I'm not that good when it comes to art, though. So, a web comment? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> so, you over here could like, yeah, I'm gonna make a web comment. Yeah, I just gotta I'm work still. on my poses a bit more. Drawing yeah. poses is really difficult. Yeah, yeah, poses are like super hard to make. Mm -hmm. Not make, I'm mean, like to grow and stuff like that. I mean, human anatomy is like the hard, one of the hardest things to learn when it comes to art and stuff like that. I'm not sure. I may be wrong, but that's what people say, I think. So you now you're going like, oh, you're going to be an idol, but are you though? I mean, some people consider me an idol. I don't really like, the reason why I consider myself an idol is because I really like to sing. I really like to entertain and stuff. And a lot of people usually see that and call that being an idol, 
Um, so I just kind of was like, oh yes, that's that that is the title for it. That is what I am now. What kind of white thing do you usually do? You usually do white. Yeah, usually I do sort of like uh just like variety streaming. I don't have any sort of like uh one hundred percent this is like the genre I play and stuff. It's sort of more of a I just play whatever I kinda of feel like. Like sometimes I do art, sometimes I sing, sometimes I play survival games, sometimes I play horror games, sometimes uh, OBS Ninja tries to kill me and make me into cheese. It's weird, you know? It's just how it is. Do you have a favorite anime that you watch, or do you cook not watch anime, or cook? I absolutely watch anime. I've I've been watching anime since I was a kid. I grew up with, like, Inuyasha and stuff. Oh, um, Inuyasha. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, go ahead. But my favorite anime of all time is probably uh, Konosuba. Ooh, Konosuba. I, yeah, I like Konosuba and stuff like that. It's really I good. I want to say it's my favorite, like... I want to say it's like my favorite anime, but it's a really good anime for those who have never seen. Konosuba is funny as hell. That's what I'm saying. Wait, well, have you watched any recent anime or just not? Konosuba's nothing... pretty recent. Um, we, yeah. recently I finished watching the, uh, Demon Slayer OVA. Oh yeah, um, the movie was really good. I didn't go yet a lot. It's like... But now yeah. they're, like, turning that movie into, like, a episode thingy. I don't know what they're doing. Anyway, they're turning the movie into a split episode. What got you into be Like, what got you into that? Last year, around, uh, beginning of May, I was just kind of, like, I knew I wanted to stream, but I didn't like having to do makeup every single time that I was yeah. going to stream. Because yeah. I, I did a, a face cam streaming for a while, but I was just like, ah, fuck, I don't want to have to do makeup every single time. So, um, kind of like, was trying to figure out, like, okay, what am I going to do? You know, like, how am I going to stream? Am I just going to not use webcam and just have it just be the, the, the thing? Like, just the game? Or, and, uh... One day in my in my recommendations, I saw uh, Portal Two um, by Project Melody, and oh. I was just like Project Melody, and uh, looked into her and watched her like entire um, Portal Two <laughs> segment that she had up on YouTube at the moment, and I was just like, this is really cool. I wonder if I could do this, and like I was seeing like all the various things that like she had put out like. She had put out a MMD of her like dancing and stuff to some music and all of that stuff. And I'm just like, I wonder if I could do this. Yeah. So then I picked up a Vroid Studio and started messing around with it for a little bit. And then I made my first Vroid model. And then uh, after a week, I got some stuff like a better camera and all that sort of stuff. And I was just like, okay, uh, you know, like this, this is what I'm going to do. Um, the way I came up with my name was very interesting. Uh, what? How do you speak her name, by the way? That's actually interesting. How do you speak her name? Lyra Zero. Originally, the way that I thought about it was, uh... Um... I had seen this one video where this guy was joking about how, uh... E-girls are usually named after, like, like, uh... Okay, so the video was sort of like a video joking about e-girls, and the guy's just like, first step, pick a constellation name, like Delphine, you know? So I was just like, okay, and then I like looked through various different constellations, and I'm just like, well, the Lyra constellation is always really, really cool. Really likes the name Lyra. Uh, and then I thought about how I am an AI. Like, I'm a AI that controls uh, nanobots, so... But, but my original thing was just, you know, being, I knew for a fact I wanted to be an AI. So I'm just like, okay, uh, name of a constellation. And then I'm an AI since I'm like the first sort of iteration of my AI, uh, I would be marked as zero. Um, since there's no one or two or anything, it's just the very first iteration of it. So I'd be, um, I would, I would like, uh, literally be Lyra zero. Uh, that's actually a completely interesting name. Like, for mm -hmm. me, my name is literally a combination of, like, 
Um, what was it? Oh yeah, two, uh, two bay or two laser. I ever seen Kokugaku. Two laser is a super sentai series. And two bay is from Madoka Magic. <laughs> And the word quick, I don't know, we could put the word quick on there. And then mm -hmm. Q quick become a thing. And now people are calling me QB. I was like, I am you could like you could I would you could go with Q as word person, but recently people are start, start calling me QB instead, so I was like, I'ma go go with that. I'ma go with mm -hmm. that. And then you are gonna call me QB too. My name QB QB. And everybody calling me QB now, so thank you for all calling me QB. I guess. Okay. Let's talk about what I think about it. It's entertaining, don't get me wrong. Like, it's super entertaining. But hmm. holy crap. Wait, stop. But holy crap. We're going to get very out of context. Yeah. <sighs> I can be taken out of context quite often. Uh, Vogie here actually has joked about making a Lyra out of context Twitter because of all the various, like, out of context clips you could get from me. Then why can't you do that? I think that's a good idea. How do we do that? Like, do it. Do it. Mm hmm <laughs> But, um, I was in the car, like, I was in the door swing back night, and I'm just sitting here like, what is going on? Where am I? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going, going, okay. I'm not wholesome, wholesome. But I'm not like super weird, if that makes sense. I'm like right in the middle, so I could go with whatever. I know what caught me was one of those when you're just like, oh yeah, Gardevoir. You're into Gardevoir. Yeah. I, was like, I was like, that's a Pokemon. That's I mean, a hey, you know. That's Gardevoir's a Pokemon, hot. like. <laughs> I mean, you have you seen some of the that? Gardevoir art? <laughs> you sure about Gardevoir over here? Here, here, I think I could change. I think I could change your mind. Okay, how you think my mind about Gardevoir? Yeah, I'm gonna be sending you a picture is what I'm doing. Oh no! Okay, so I can't no, send Oh that no, go talk really about weird. the Vaporeon! Uh, poor Vaporeon. Do you know about the Vaporeon? Yeah, people... People loot Vaporeon a lot as well. No, do you know the one comment that people made that that guy that copy Paka thingy? I'm gonna get you the Vaporeon Paka. It's not NSFW or anything, but like. No, man. I don't care if it's NSFW. Uh, let me hot. see the DM. Oh, he, he did send me a DM. Oh, I right. See. I see. now you know what I mean by Gardevoir hot. <laughs> I see. Are you both looking like in that cute, that outfit? Right? Really nice. <laughs> Gardevoir is hot. <laughs> Just Gardevoir? like, uh, oh no, Gardevoir, it's really cold out. I guess we need to snuggle for warmth. And she's just like, Gardevoir. And it's just like, yeah, you Gardevoir for me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you Gardevoir. Damn. Yeah. But yeah, I know that Gardevoir thing. for me a little more. <laughs> I think what's funny is that Gardevoir, the Pokemon, read the cleaner mind. Well, not really. I don't think read the cleaner mind, but more uh, reading the cleaner emotions and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. basically, Gardevoir knows what emotions you're dealing with during yeah. that time. So quickly, well, much, I mean, you're like... feeling a bit um, horny. Gardevoir knows you're being horny. Yeah, and then she can like fucking tease you and shit. It's oh, awesome. Oh no, this is not. Oh no. <laughs> I'm wanting to wait. I go down okay, Pamor. You you toss Gardevoir out for a Pokemon battle, and then like <laughs> the other trainer's just like, uh, what's she doing? And it's just like, oh yeah, my Gardevoir is really down bad for me. <laughs> my Gardevoir down bad, like down down bad, like super down bad. She's just like feeling up the like trainer's arms and stuff, and she's like, Gardevoir, and it's just like. <laughs> the other trainer's just like, damn, yeah, she she looks like she straight up wants to fucking mate with you. And it's just like, yeah. Ara Ara, indeed. I, I'm not. If I hear a Gardevoir get Ara Ara. I don't know what I will respond with. I really don't know what I will respond with. I'll be like, Mom, please help me. I'm scared. <laughs> I think I'd be kind of scared. Um, 
You might be like, empty back up. I don't know what you're saying. Well, okay, no, the reason why I'd be a bit scared is because that implies if Gardevoir says Ada Ada, that means that the Gardevoir can speak English and can actually speak. That means that Gardevoir, that Gardevoir would be one of the types of Pokemon that for some reason inexplicably just knows English and can speak English. Um, and if she can do that... You know, you know Gardevoir is like a psychic like Pokemon. So it's possible that she could. Yeah, I guess you're right. If, like, Meowth can Meowth, speak English. Meowth, that's right! Why, well? Hi. The, the cat really want an Ara Ara. I think they want Ara Ara from you. Oh no, me! I can't do yeah. it, Ara Ara. I cannot do it. I cannot, I'm not, wait, I'm a guy. I can't do that. Furry. Go for it. You got furry, this. Do you furry, like... furry. I can't do yeah. that, like... Do like Very a manly ara, 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 you know? I can't even do a manly ara, ara. Just pretend someone called you daddy. I better be making money for this. You got this, I believe in you. Make it not. You're gonna kill him. Why what? You're gonna kill me, apparently. That what they're saying, a cat. You're gonna kill me. I don't know why. I do like to murder. No, do you not? No, that's bad. I mean... <clears throat> uh... I don't like to murder. <laughs> Was that believable? I don't think that's believable. Dang. I don't think that's believable. Back to the fluffo jail, I guess. <laughs> oh no, he's licking me. Oh my guy! Guy! We're all money to Ara Ara. And uh, none of you is now bad. Everybody is now bad. Why are you all down back today? I'm good here. I'm good vibing. And you're all good horny today. It's I'm down good. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean by down good? Well, because you guys really, really want me to do Ara Ara. I get how we go. It's gonna be awful though. I can't. Nah, it's gonna be good. You got this. Ara Ara. Make it sort of more like, uh, breathy. Like, <laughs> pretend like you just ran a lot and then, like, uh, da, da. Like from the back of your throat. Oh, from the back of my throat. That's that's the ada ada for like uh ladies. I guess for guys like you'd go sort of like deeper, sort of like uh uh, uh, uh yeah <laughs> yeah. Ada uh, ada. Uh, uh, uh. I'm not doing that yet ever again. I can do a Markiplier impression. Hello, my name is Markiplier. I can't do that yet. How do you do it? <clears throat> Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier. Today, we're going to be playing some video games. So, how do you do that? Uh, I like to think that I'm a pretty okay voice actress. Uh, I watch a lot of Markiplier. Uh, every time he puts out, uh, three scary games, I'm just, like, fucking clicking on that. You're gonna go fucking click on that shit. And then, like, if you, if you make it deeper, you can kind of do a, do you know, a critical? Like, Charlie? Oh, I know critical. Yeah, kind of just, like... Hey everybody, my name is Critical. Today I'm gonna be talking about nipples and shit. Nice. <laughs> do you know what? the VTuber, uh, uh Feifei? Feifei, yeah. I can do a pretty good Feifei impression too. Hey everyone, my name is Feifei. Today I'm gonna be talking to you about various different armpits and why I think they're very tasty. Guys, I can't believe we have Feifei on the screen, guys. Have you guys ever thought about how if you put frosting on a bagel, it's basically just a donut at that point? <laughs> oh. What? No, 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 what? <laughs> yeah, if you think about it, it's basically just a donut. <laughs> okay. Okay. I've been trying to work on a, a Nanner's impression, but I don't, I don't think it's that good yet. I need to kind of like listen to more of her stuff and kind of work on it a little more. Hey, can you go at more higher pants? Hey, can you go at higher hey, pants? Or something like that? I don't know. Nanners. Uh, today I'm gonna talk to you about, uh, my favorite types of toilets, and, uh, wh why I think that they're very fun. This one toilet right here has, uh, a warmer seat on it, so you can, uh, sit on it and watch <laughs> pee pee poo poo videos with seals. How's that? Is Nander like that for real? I don't know. Oh, where she rates toilets. 
Wicky, I actually have a video that she breaks toilet. Yeah, she has a video where she breaks toilets. It's so good. Here, I'll send it to you. Wicky, you were not skateboarder for a second, okay? But not actually going in and ain't not skateboarder, Wick. Do you want me to read that out loud? <laughs> you want to? You could. I get happy to wear it before. I haven't. Oh, this is our first time. Let's go, Agri. Let's go. I'm gonna have, give it whatever boy you want. Good. I'm gonna give it like a... A basic, like... Uh... Uh, anime protagonist voice. <clears throat> oh no. Hey guys! Did you know that in terms of male and female Pokemon breeding, Vaporeon is the most compatible Pokemon for humans? Not only are they in in the field egg group, which is mostly comprised of mammals, Vaporeon, an average of 303 tall and 63.9 pounds, that means they're large enough to be able to handle human dicks with their impressive base stats for HP and access to acid armor. You can be rough with one. Due to their mostly water-based biology, there's no doubt in my mind that aroused Vaporeon will be incredibly wet. So wet that you could easily have sex with one for hours and not get sore. They can also learn the moves Attract, Baby Doll Eyes, Captivate, Charm, and Tail Whip, along with not having fur to hide nipples. So it would be incredibly easy once you get in the mood. With the abilities Water Absorb and Hydration, they can easily recover from fatigue even enough water from an <laughs> enough water. No other Pokemon comes close to the level of compatibility. Also, fun fact, if you pull out enough, you can make your Vaporeon turn white. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't think I want to get a Vaporeon anymore. Uh, after all of this, I don't want to have a Vaporeon anymore. Vaporeon? Oh, help me. Mm -hmm. Vaporeon? No! no! Whoa, 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 <laughs> We need to go right there. Like, we need to go. What is your favorite Pokemon? Uh, my favorite Pokemon is, uh, Sylveon. I vibe with Sylveon. Sylveon's cool. To be fully honest, I've never really, like, 100% sort of, like, dove into Pokemon. Like, I I think the last time I played a lot of a Pokemon game was probably, uh, like, in fifth grade when I played Pokemon Fire Red. I just realized, ever since I started playing Terraria again recently, a lot of other people started playing Terraria again. Is it weird to think I may have started a trend? Because, like, a couple weeks ago, I started, uh, I found this one, uh, conversion mod pack for Minecraft that turns Minecraft into Terraria. So I started playing that, and then I actually started getting back into Terraria, and I saw then, and then now I see a lot of other VTubers that are now starting to play Terraria again for stream and stuff. And I'm just like, did I accidentally bring something back? Have You're I in the people? Ant <laughs> You're now in Ant Wilinker. Congratulations. You Ant Wilink everybody else now. It's my superpower. I influence people. Just like, ooh, Cubelets, you want chicken noodle soup? No, I actually don't. You guy. Dang. <laughs> I. Guy. Okay, so this may sound weird, but... You kind of uh, agree with me on okay, that garden board. Good thing. <laughs> yeah, no, I did. I, I already used my... Maybe it's like a once a day thing. I can influence someone, but only like... I can only influence someone once a day. So like, I can't influence you for like a 24 hour period, but then I can influence again. That God. Yeah, it's it's not the best quirk. But, uh, Quirky battle. actually, never mind. That's a really fucking good quirk. If you're about to get into a battle and you haven't, like, and you just started, like, you just saw that person, you could be like, hey, you don't want to fight me. And then they'd be like, yeah, you're right. I don't want to fight you. And then you just wouldn't, <laughs> then they just couldn't fight you. Yeah, you're right. I don't want to fight you. Bye. <laughs> want to know something weird about me? What? So, you know how, uh, when you get sick, chicken noodle soup is really good for, like, helping out your throat and stuff. Yeah. I keep what I refer to as a emergency can of chicken noodle soup just in case I ever get sick. So if I ever get sick, I could just whip out the fucking emergency chicken noodle soup and just make it. Okay, I do not have, like, 
emergency, but I have a couple of chicken in the field that don't. Well, it's kind of like that, actually. Mm-hmm. Well, I kind of knew that, too. I didn't know that. I think it's just kind of like a subconscious thing from childhood, always wanting to have chicken noodle soup around just in case you ever get, like, you know, hungry. Wait a second. Vaporeon's considered a mammal. Here we go. And the post talked about Vaporeon having nipples. Can you milk a va Vaporeon? <laughs> <laughs> Did I just ruin your night? I'm sorry. <laughs>